children i welcome all of you to today's maths class as we all know we all are carolites do you know how the name kerala emerges yes it is because of the coconut plant last time we are talking about reviatans family do you remember today we are going to discuss about reviatans friends abu and ausi they both are coconut farmers abu has 18 coconut trees and ausi has 20 coconut trees here the list of coconut they got from the coconut plantation last year look into the chart this list shows about the coconut they got in different month so can you tell me who got more coconut last year yes i'll say but let me ask you how you get into the answer i'm sure you all just add the number of coconuts in each month for the first look we can say it is right but i'm sure the answers we got is wrong because the number of coconut tree in their farm is not same abu has 18 coconut trees out of that he got 864 coconuts but ause has 20 coconut trees out of that he got 900 coconuts if they have same number of trees we can compare the number of coconuts and we can decide whose plantation is giving more number of coconut that means by seeing the number of coconuts we cannot say whose plantation is doing better then how we can find out whose plantation is doing better yes we have to find out the average number of coconuts in each tree and we can say whose plantation is doing better my dear children we are again discussing about the topic an average in our daily life so it is very important to know what an average is coming back to the question who has better yield here ausep has 20 coconut trees and he got 900 coconuts we already know that average is equal to total sum divided by total number here our same average coconut total number of coconuts divided by total number of trees total number of coconuts of our same 160 280 200 260 divided by total number of trees 20 add these numbers we get 900 divided by 20 we get 45 coconuts per tree on average and abu has 18 coconut tree and so the average coconut is equal to total number of coconuts divided by total number of trees here total number of coconuts 200 264 plus 240 plus 
160 divided by total number of trees 18. Add these numbers we get 864 divided by 18. We get 48 coconuts per tree on average. So now we can say that Abu's coconut plantation is doing better job. Next, Ravi Etan checked his sale of milk for some days and calculated the average income to be 250 rupees per day. If he continues like this, how much he can expect from the sale of milk in June? Can you help Ravi Etan regarding this? We know that average is equal to total sum divided by total number. How many days are there in June? Yes, 30. There are 30 days in June. Here, what we know is the average income and the number of days. That is 250 rupees per day in the month of June. Here, we have to find out the total amount in the month of June. For getting total amount, what we supposed to do? Here, average is equal to total sum divided by total number. For getting total amount, what we supposed to do? Total amount. Total amount. Total amount is equal to average. into total number. Here, total amount total amount is equal to average income average income into number of days. Here average income is 250. Number of days 30. We get 7500 rupees. For getting total number of days what we supposed to do? Total number of days. Total number of days, total amount divided by average income. Average income. That is total number. Is equal to total Amount divided by average. Now, let us discuss about another way of average in our daily life. Listen children. Five days income of Riviatans is 6,435 rupees. 6,927 rupees, 6,855 rupees, 7,230 rupees and 6,562 rupees. From this, just find out the total income of Reviatan for the first days. Here, total income of Reviatan for the first five days. Add these numbers, we get total income. 
6435 plus 6927 plus 6855 plus 7230 plus 6562. And these numbers we get 34,009 rupees. Nine rupees. That is the total income of Reviatan for the first five days. After the sixth day, he calculated the average income as six thousand five hundred rupees per day. We know that average is equal to average is equal to total sum divided by total number. Here given average income is 6500 rupees per day for, first, for the first sixth day. How to find out the total income? How to find out total income? Total income is equal to average income Income into number of days. That is average income 6500 into how many days? Number of days? 6. 6500 into 6 we get 39,000 rupees. So the total income for the first six days is 39,000 rupees. How we can find out the total income on the sixth day? We already know that Reviatan has 34,009 rupees for the first five days and 39,000 rupees for the first six days. How do we find out how much did he get on the sixth day? Here, subtract total amount for the first five days from total amount for the first six days. We get the total amount on the sixth day. You just try to find out here, subtract total amount for the first 5 days from the total amount for the 6 days. We get the amount 6th day. 6th day. Amount is equal to 39,000 minus 34, 3, 34,009. We get 4,991 rupees. Let's move into another influence of an average in our daily life. During the Forest Fest celebration, two divisions of class 5 decided to plant trees as a Harida club activity. 35 children of class 5th A planted 245 saplings and 30 children of class 5th B planted 240. On the basis of average number of saplings planted per kid which division did a better job? Here, how we can find out which division is doing better job? Here, 35 children of class 5th A planted 245 saplings and 30 children of class 5th B planted 240 saplings. Here, if the number of students are same. In both divisions, we can say that both are doing better job. But, did you notice one thing? 
the number of students in both divisions are different and because of that we cannot compare the performance but we can do one thing find out the average of each divisions performance and compare it and through the result we can say that who is doing better here the average number of saplings planted by each child of fifth a is equal to total number of saplings divided by number of children total number of saplings 245 number of children 35 we get seven saplings the average number of saplings planted by each child of fifth b is equal to total number of saplings divided by number of children total number of saplings 240 number of children 30 we get eight saplings Can you tell me which division is doing better performance? Yes, fifth B. So, on the basis of average number of saplings planted per kid, fifth B division did a better job. Now, what you have to do is just go through the page number. 23 in your textbook and do the activity 2 and send to me now it's time to wind up the class okay children